This is a radio button search format which I have created in Excel. Before creating the new format, let's see how it works. On the top, we can see month. Just below that, we can see few buttons. Currently, we are in the month of February. On the top, we can see February and our data is of February. If I'll click on January, data of January is just in front of us. Currently, we are in the month of August. If I'll click on August, data of August is just in front of us. Means just by clicking on the buttons, our data will be in front of us. For different months, we have got different sheets. And whenever the sheets will be updated, we will be able to see in master sheet. Let's start creating a new format now. I have opened a new workbook in which I have got my data from January to December. I'll click on January. We'll come to right hand side and we'll click on plus sign means I'll insert a new sheet. We'll double click on sheets name. This will be master sheet. We'll click on master sheet and we'll take this in the very beginning. Now I'll click on A1. We'll take column A closer. Now I'll go to sheet of January. We'll click on order date, which is our first header. Our data is starting from B4. So we will have to remember this. So I've clicked on order date. We'll press shift control right arrow key and we'll copy this control C or command C. We'll go to my master sheet and we'll paste in B4, control V or command V. We'll adjust the column size as per our requirement. Now I'll click on B2 and we'll select C also and we'll merge the cells. This will be month. We'll click on month and we'll create borders. We'll drag this to right. This will be month's name and it will be formulated. So we will leave this blank. We'll select both and we'll change the cell color as well as font color. We'll select the whole row and we'll change the font style. We will do as Arial Black. We'll click on top of category and we'll select till end and we'll merge the cells. We'll change the cell color as well as font color. This will be radio button search sheet. We'll create borders. We'll click on row number three and we'll increase the size. We'll select from beginning to end and we'll create outside border. Now I'll click on top of month. We'll go to developer tab and from here I'll select option button. We'll click over here and our first option button got inserted. We'll place over here. Now I'll rename this. This will be Jan. Now I'll resize this. We'll click on Jan button. We'll press control and we'll drag this to right. We'll rename this. This will be Feb. We'll click outside. In the same way, I'll create 12 buttons for 12 months. So I have inserted all the buttons. Let's come to left. We'll click on month of January and we'll press Ctrl A. All the shapes will be selected. We'll right click the mouse. We'll go to size and properties. We'll come to right hand side. We'll click on properties and we'll select don't move or size with cells. Now we will close this. We'll go to shape format tab. We'll come to right hand side. In right hand side, we get the option of align. We'll click on the drop down and we'll select distribute horizontally. We'll go to align once again and we'll select distribute vertically. Perfect. Now I'll increase the size of category and state. We'll increase size of subcategory also and product name. Now all the buttons are inside our format. We'll click just under month and we'll select till end. We'll go to home tab and we'll change the cell color. Now I'll click on Jan. We'll right click the mouse and we'll go to format control. On the top, we can see three things, protection, properties and control. Over here, we can see cell link. I'll click over here. Now I'll come to left hand side and we'll click just before Jan. We can see B3 and the cell reference is fully locked. We are not going to do any changes over here. We'll come down and we'll click on OK. We can see number one over here. Currently, I have clicked on Jan and we can see number one. If I'll click on August, the number got changed to eight. And if I'll click on December, we can see 12 over here. Let's go back to Jan. Now I'll click just after month and we'll insert our formula. Formula will be plus or equal to choose bracket open index number. I'll click on number one. This is our index number comma value one. Over here, I'll type name of the months like Jan, Feb and so on. Jan, Feb and name of other months are in text format. 
and whenever we insert text inside excel formulas it's mandatory to take text inside double inverted commas so i'll put double inverted comma jan double inverted comma close comma double inverted comma feb double inverted comma close comma double inverted comma march double inverted comma close in the same way i'll take all the months over here so i have taken all the months and all the texts are inside double inverted commas and separated by comma that is our delimiter now i'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we can see jan over here if i'll click on august we can see august and we are going to use this in our formula i'll do as jan we'll click on one and we'll change the text color we'll keep same as of our cell color so now we are not able to see anything i'll click just under order date and we'll insert my formula formula will be plus or equal to address bracket open row number for row number i'll be inserting the function of row r o w row bracket open bracket close comma column number for column number i'll be inserting function of column column bracket open bracket close comma we want absolute over here so i'll click on number 1 comma this time i'll be selecting a1 style comma now i'll click on jan which is on top we'll press f4 or function f4 and our cell reference will be logged we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we can see some error over here i'll double click on the formula we'll come in the very beginning and we'll insert the criteria of indirect indirect bracket open we'll come to the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we can see some random figure this is our date but currently it's in general format so i'll press control 1 we'll go to date and we'll select a desired date format we'll come down and we'll click on okay now we can see our first date we'll align this in center we'll drag this to month we can see jan over here but when we see our format still it's in the date format i'll click on drop down and we'll select general format now i'll drag this to right we'll click on order date we'll press shift control right arrow key we'll create borders over here and we'll drag this down as per our requirement i'll drag this till 100 possibilities are there that our data may increase or decrease so i have taken this on higher side in case you want to increase you can over here we can see zeros i'll go on top we'll click on customer name and we'll select till product name we'll press shift control down arrow key and we'll align all the things in left now we have to remove our zeros i'll click just under order date where i had inserted my formula i'll copy this formula from formula bar i'm not going to copy is equal to we'll press control c or command c and my formula got copied we'll come in the very beginning and we'll insert the criteria of if if bracket open this formula is equal to blank means i'm taking blank instead of zero so in return what i want in return i want blank so i'll be putting double inverted comma twice once again comma if it's not blank i want my older formula so i'll paste the formula which i have copied control v or command v now i'll close the bracket till bracket doesn't gets black and we'll hit enter now let's drag this to right i'll drag this in the month we'll click on month's name we'll go on top and we'll change the number format we'll do as general we'll drag this to right we'll come to profit and we'll remove decimal places now i'll click on first date and we'll press shift control right arrow key and we'll drag this down let's take few extra rows now let's go on top just notice all the zeros got vanished let's go on top i'll increase the size of column d now i'll click on customer name and we'll select this sub category we'll align this in center we'll press shift control down arrow key and we'll align all the things in left we'll click on product name we'll align this in center and we'll press shift control down arrow key and we'll align all the things in left we'll increase the column size we'll go to view tab and we'll remove the grid lines perfect and our format is ready now if i'll click on february 
data of February is just in front of us. If I'll click on August, data of August is just in front of us. Now, I have taken few extra months like September, October, November and December. And these formats are blank because currently we are in the month of August. So when you will be going to month of September, October, November and December, just fill your data over here and your format will be working perfectly. Let's go to August and our format is ready now. I'll provide the link of file in description box. In case you want to download, you can.